Good morning. Here we are, Monday morning. The closing down of 2019. Another decade coming to a close. You know, I've had many thoughts, as many others do, but lately as my thoughts have been running through me is, is with a question. And I was, I've been asking myself, am I holding on to things from my past? Is the things that I'm holding on to keeping me from the things that I need to be reaching for? And so that became the question that I think I want to talk about today or this morning. And what better time to start thinking or maybe letting go of things from our past that we're holding on to than the beginning of a new decade? 2020, a day or two away. So very close. There's things that have happened. We've had an eclipse that just happened a few days ago. A change. We have an eclipse coming up here. I think, what is it, 10th, 12th of January. Another change. There's a lot of things happening. For me, I feel a strong, a strong change. I, I, I've, I, for me, I feel as if all the things that I have been walking towards are starting to come to fruition. And I believe it's because I've been slowly letting go of the things of my past, the things that I've held on to. I was asked a week or two ago a question. It caught me maybe off guard, but I could not define. No, well, let's go. The question was to name the ten big th or name some things that have happened year by year for the last decade. And I thought to myself, oh. the word that came across was sadness. And that was an answer that didn't suffice. And so I looked back and it was like, really it was that. And then when I looked at it in detail, it was, I was, I felt the sadness, a strong sadness the last 10 years because I, I was searching, I was seeking things that I could not get to because I was holding on to too many things from my past. I was doing the obvious. I was seeking for love. And so because how I learned what love was early on in my life, I was seeking love outside of me. And then I find uh, lately or later, towards the end of this decade, that it's unconditional love that we should seek. And love is within us. We are love. And once we learn how to love ourselves, then love will find us. And it's due to the energy and what we put out into the world. So when you learn to love yourself, you start changing the vibration in which you walk this your journey on. So going back to the question, sadness. I have felt a great sadness. I felt the place I was, I was in another place and I felt out of place. And I had been there for 30 something years. I lived out in the country. I had a very peaceful place, beautiful place. Still have it but I felt out of place. Everything inside me felt change was coming and I didn't know how or what that meant. 
But I knew there were things that I was holding on to from my past, thoughts, things that I needed to unlearn, but I didn't know what. I didn't know how. I didn't, there were so many things that were hitting me. And the, the way it came through me, it was I felt confused. I felt unease. I didn't feel happiness. And the only way I could describe it when the question was asked was I had felt sadness. But I was seeking happiness. I was seeking joy. I was seeking love is what I, I was wanting. And there was, a, there was a moment where I was, I thought I had, I, I thought I had found what it was I was looking for and I made a transition and I came, I walked away from things that I knew. That's where I started to let go of the things that I was holding on to from my past. But yet I was still going back to my past, a place where I started. Holding on to things from your past, not letting hurts go. This is where we need to get to a place where we can come to terms with things that have happened. It's not a matter of denying that they haven't happened because there's many out here, many of us, I'm including myself, that have had things happen to them that are very difficult to let go of. Very difficult. Life changes. Drastic life changes. But you have to ask yourself, how long can you hold on to these and prevent yourself from really letting go? Yes, there you can move on. Yes, you can go. You can you can travel. You can. You can do all the things, you can work the job, you can, you can have that smile, but you know there's something deep down inside you right now that you feel you're missing. There is still a loneliness. There is still that... How long are you going to hold on to things from the past? For some, it's a matter of forgiving. There are many out there. People have done and said hurtful things. I'm on this journey now where it seems that most of my conversations that I have with people that I'm, I come into contact in my day to day are people that are in similar situations and I end up talking with them or they talk with me, I listen or I talk, either or, sometimes it's both, but it's, it's like I am helping me help them, but it's a two-way street. This is what healers do, so most healers need healing, and people cross our paths for a reason, and it's for us to help and heal, but at the same time, we're helping and healing others. Are you just going to hold on to things from the past and not go to the, not really live? I mentioned that, I said this just a second ago, that we, you can and have, you can still move, you still can do things, but are you truly living? Are you allowing the past from letting you go into the future? This is 2020 coming up in just a day or two. What are you going to do? I know I'm embracing this journey that I'm on. Yes. Love is still the thing that I want. But I'm finding the love of myself, loving myself, is becoming easier. 
I'm finding the more I let go, the more gifts I discover that are there in me. The more I let go of things that I've been holding on to from the past, the more I let go, the more I make way for the things are, that are going to help me on the rest of my journey. If you don't let go, you are not allowing space within your soul to receive what is due you right now. And by letting go doesn't mean you forget. There are many things you will never forget from our past. We won't forget, but you allow them to go and not be part of your everyday talk. We all have a story. Everyone has a beautiful story, the story of their life. But as long as you're listening, as long as you're still breathing, your story is a continuation of what's going to happen, not what has happened. That is part of the story. But there's still much unwritten. It's time to let go of the past. Let go, forgive. Forgive yourself. Learn how to love yourself. You are a beautiful soul. Yeah, I'm talking to you. You are a beautiful soul. You need to own that. Let go, make way for what's coming to you. 2020 is going to be an awesome year. Do you see it? See it, say it, now believe it. Again, you can find me on Instagram, Facebook, I've got videos now on YouTube. Subscribe, like, if you're interested. Send a message. We can talk. Be well. Be love, always. And until next time, stay awesome.